we have been learned in constitution that's been uh, till seven teachers of our constitution so the next topic is going to be of directive principles of state policy what it used to say and in this you are going to learn about the fundamental rights and duties so now it's been a very important in a constitution you are going to learn what are the articles how we have been following why it has been an essential everything okay children shall we move on yeah now when i go for the surveying directive principles of state policy it's been mentioned in our constitution that is fourth schedule of our constitution we have been learn how many chapters articles and the schedules have been present and it's been in lengthy and written constitution so they have been selected the schedules here so this comes under fourth schedule which is a directive principles of state policy and this one it used to define the establishment on economic equality that is for social economic what are the day to day that we have been running so that it used to give for the purpose of people citizens okay it's not only for uh, in a sense here the people those are ruling it is for everyone here we have to follow the principles maintained by constitution so now let's move on what all those here it used to say independent and centralized judiciary system so here in your family also you have been seen where we have of property matter so many cases around your uh, houses and everything you have been seen here where do the people go for the judgment they go for court so here each state will have high court and if they have been staying in a district or they have been in staying in a villages in olden days the people used to get get the justice in form of panchayat where the five members are going to give the judgment and now it has been completely changed here if the people want to have a complete justice they move to court where we have different type of courts here we, we had the subordinate court we had a district court and then uh, so high court we have even in our in our bangalore also we have the high court i think you have been seen museum road yes so we have the high court in our bangalore also still if a rich person is not been satisfied where he'll move he'll move to supreme court uh, leaving the supreme court can he go any other court no what the judgment has been given he has to accept to that judgment so independent we all are independent for the justice so in this executive and legislature where in parliament they never involved because it is a right of us we can have a justice for a uh, wrong one or if you have been in favored for that we can so that comes your people here so to never involved it's been uh, in legislature and executive never involved because we are already independent here and in this next one comes your single citizenship what is a single citizenship here so we are uh, what is the right age for voting can you have a right no still you are minor so except age for the voting is to be a citizenship 18 years so single citizenship where we say a person who has been born in india from the birth he has been in to that nation attached you are so we will gain a single citizenship here if a person is born in india he has been called as an indian citizenship here if he has been born living in india and america he has been called as american person or american citizenship here he acquired that one so this single citizenship here the legislature possesses the power rules so they have been implemented some rules and regulations for single citizenship here if if a person attain an age of 18 you have been seen in your home also your brother or sister once they come up to the age of 18 so if they want to get an identity card what are the proof they require it's been called a proof card here so they go and you know they are going to mention their date of birth name father name address and everything and they are going to get one identity card yeah that means we are the citizens of india okay children next comes your adult franchise what is the adult franchise here the exact right to vote it's been called uh, it has been of uh, 18 years and then we have been called as citizens of india till 17 you have been an adolescent you won't be getting it so 18 years has been exact where you can be a part for the election also okay next let us move by camera legislature by means two we have two houses in parliament which are those i think i seen a parliament 
in your newspaper and news and everything, right? So that has been called parliament. This parliament consists of two houses. You have learned in your lower classes also. Which are the two houses? Lok Sabha is also known as lower house. Rajya Sabha is also known as upper house. So this is being called in parliament two houses that is called a bicameral legislature and in uh, this legislature it is also known as parliament only in parliament we can see this two houses here next comes here party system what is this party system in our india we have multi-party system so when election take place that time we have been seen so there are so many symbols so that symbols can oh, everyone achieve the can be the winner? No. There will be a one party to be the winner to rule our India. So we have a multi-party system in our India. Whether they win, whether they lose, but they stand for election. So we cannot degrade the symbols of the party here. It is the luck who wins and who loses that has been ruling. They are the people to rule our India. Next, after learning to the now let us move to the beautiful Subtopic another called fundamental rights and duties. Okay, before independence, do we have our rights? No, we don't have any rights here. We have been the rights were only to the Britishers, and later after gaining independence here, where the constitutions they frame, and previously we have been learned that. We have a committee of 22 and 5 subcommittee. What are the problems India has been facing? The toll has been recommended in the constitution. So Dr. V. R. Ambedkar, how beautifully he has been described the articles and we have been independent. What are those? Right to equality. All are equal before the law. Which article? Article 14 to 18. Second comes right to freedom. Do we have a right to freedom? Yes, we have a right to right to freedom here. Yeah. Even you come out of your houses for, for the purpose of playing, for the school, for the tuitions, everywhere you move, you have freedom here. Yeah. Right against exploitation. If anything wrong goes there, can you say can you keep on seeing over there? No. If it is wrong, if the wrong things have been going on, we shall I continue? Right to exploitation. So what is this right to exploitation here? When something goes wrong, where the people keep on, they keep on saying it? No, they raise their voices in unity that comes here for not only, not only in unity, if anything goes wrong, like an accident or a problem take place nearby your neighbors or anything that comes here, we stand for against. So that article says from 23rd to 24th. Next fourth one comes to right to freedom of religion. So in secularism, we have been studied there is no secularism free. There is no national religion here. So a person can be of any religion. He can uh, he can convert into any religion here. So the article says from 25th to 28th. Next comes cultural and educational rights here. So uh, cultural and educational rights in the sense here where parents duty according to the amendment 42nd year it used to say according to 2002 that parents are being and responsible for the children for education from 6 to 14 years compulsory. Cultural in the sense here where we take part in so many activities here. Right to constitutional remedies. What is this constitutional remedies? This constitutional remedies it used to say on social political on the sense of social, political and also what all the things we have been facing in our day to day life here. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, he is a person where he described this constitutional remedy as heart and soul of the constitution. Okay? Next, and the Supreme Court has been in court where it has been, so uh, what are the fundamental rights we have been studied here, we are supposed to follow. It is not, it's been in each and every citizens here. So the constitution, what it has been framed, it is a part of, so many it's been titled as a heart and soul, according to Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, the protector and fundamental rights, yes. What something goes wrong, they try to see this 
article yes they are not been following this freedom equality exploitation freedom of religion so these all it's been titled in our lengthy constitution